Oh, good morning, Mr. Sullivan. I'm afraid we have no tricks today, unless a vacancy for a conjurer's assistant turns up. Uh, I believe that's one job that you haven't tried. Yeah, you're right. But I'll give it a go. It sounds like a bit of a laugh. Mr. Sullivan, we've offered you over 50 jobs in the last two years. You either turn them down or you get the sack on the first day. Now, if you don't do better than this, we're gonna to have to stop your benefits. I've been called in as a consultant, now that I've retired, to deal with, um, well, shall we say, difficult clients. And I'm damn sure I'm gonna find you a job. Should have been playing golf today. Well, look, I, I I'd take one if it was suitable, but I've got to choose carefully. Well, there's a good position as a gardener <clears throat> in the park. If I got you an interview, would you attend? Uh, no, I, I, I don't like worms. Um, if you've got something a bit less yucky? Well, central dairies are looking for a milkman. Ah, no, housewives. I'm a bit of a, an attractive guy. And, uh, and it's all the attention, you know. Look, if you don't take something, what would you like to do? We have a vacancy for a shelf stacker. A shop assistant. A waitress. A barmaid. Have you got any work snow clearing? It's June, Mr. Sullivan. As I explained to you about seasonal work last January, when you wanted to go fruit picking. Father Christmas, in one of those big shops. I like kids. June, Mr. Sullivan. Joneses need a door-to-door -door salesman. Uh, tried that once. Kept putting my foot in the door and I ended up with a sore foot. So I've got to be careful. Well, Dogs and Mogs, the pet care company, uh, well, they need a dog walker. Ah, uh, no, no. I uh, couldn't take getting my fingers snapped up by all those dogs. I'd be a bit afraid to tell you the truth. A postman then? How about that? Perhaps not. The, the, those dogs, and I don't, I, I think I'm a bit allergic. In fact, I don't think I'm suited to much outdoor work. Oh. A touch of agoraphobia, and I haven't got a coat. So, it's an indoors job? If you've got something, but nothing too confined, I've also got a bit of claustrophobia. Ah, just the thing, stock taking in a warehouse. Um, uh, ah, now, if you remember, I've tried that one before. Yes, if I remember correctly, you lasted a whole morning. Well, they need widget packers at GKM's factory. Ah, no, sorry, can't do anything that involves standing all day, bad feet. So, it's a sitting down job, if I found you one of those. Sounds a bit better, uh, but not too much sitting, if you know what I mean. If you, oh, if you know what I mean. 
piles. Well, I've got this job in a shoe shop. No. No. Can't stand smelly feet. Oh, it turns my stomach. Well, Baldy Supermarkets have got a job in their butcher's department. Ah, no. I uh, wouldn't do. I'm a vegetarian. Well, there's also a vacancy on the cheese counter. Actually, I'm more of a vegan. Well, how about the bakery section? Gluten intolerant. The confectionery department? Uh, no, sorry. Diabetic. Well, they've got a florist section. I mean, if you would be gracious enough to consider working there. Hay fever. I am a martyr to pollen. If there's anything else, I'd be interested. Perhaps an office job then. If I could get you one of those. Uh, Smiths are looking for an office assistant. If I had my own desk, I might be interested. We can't promise you that. You only lasted one day. Your last office placement, what happened there? Well, hours were too long. Now, if you had something part-time... Green's Brothers was part-time. Ah, yes, but I'm allergic to printering. So you want an office job where there are no printers? You're not allergic to uh, <coughs> pencil and paper, are you? Well, perhaps not an office job after all. Don't really like the gossip, and there's still a lot of standing and sitting. Mr. Sullivan, if we don't find you something soon, we shall have to stop your benefits. Ah, now then. Sleepyland are looking for a bed tester. Can you think of any conceivable reason? Why you can't do that. I snore really badly. For heaven's sake, Mr Sullivan. Look, it's not my fault that you can't find me the sort of job that suits me. You don't think I like staying in bed all morning, do you? Off to the snooker hall, after lunch and then down to the pub drinking all night with my mates. I'd rather get a decent job and not rely on the state for handouts all the time. Well, Mr. Sullivan, I think this is your lucky day. We've just had a request from a multi-millionaire who wants a chauffeur and minder for his 18-year-old nymphomaniac daughter. You'll be expected to accompany her on her holidays on the continent and in America. You'll drive her about in a Porsche 911 and you'll have the use of that car on your days off. You would live in a two bedroom flat above the garage and your clothing and meals would be provided. And the starting salary will be 200,000 pounds a year. You're kidding me. Well, Mr. Sullivan, you started it. <laughs>